It's collab time, boss, Earl and Percy. It's the, oh, <laughs> well, Atina, Atina 2S mini 3D printer. 3D printer. All right, guys. Ready? Ready, boss? You were just all excited hopping around, ready to collab. You were dancing all over the table. What we got? The Antina. I uh, <laughs> don't cockatoo the cord. No. All right. Well, Let Dad open the box. the box. That's the. Quick guide. Yeah. That's the ribbon. The ribbon, yes. Yeah. We actually have more of that coming today because we weren't sure how much. Come here, Earl. You want to see? Cords. cords. Yeah. Power supply. Oh, and it does have an on off. Cool. Oh, nice. All right. Here, get up. There we go. Yeah, it's very well packed. Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> Don't tear that up. Yeah. You suck for packaging. Buster. You're going to be really surprised at what sister picked to make for you in this. Very good package. All right. Come here, Earl. Look. Get back over here, Earl. Percy. So the quick guide tells you step by step. Uh -huh. There's the block. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. So you remove the block. There's Help him, Buster. Tape that I'm gonna leave on mm -hmm. until we actually make something with it. Mm -hmm. And then there, if you look inside the tube, that tube will feed through the top and plug in over here. Okay. So it tells you step by step what to do. And we already have the app downloaded yeah. and the, yeah, the what we're gonna make. Here. Yeah. It's a real easy download. Real easy instructions. So we're gonna set it up outside and do it though because someone mentioned that sometimes 3D printers have a trace amount of um, Teflon. Teflon. So just to be safe, we're, we're gonna do it outside. Show that. <laughs> the unboxing. Yeah, the unboxing part of it <laughs> by a parrot. <laughs> Buster's interested in that part too. <laughs> All right. You downloaded it onto the SD card from the website? Yes. How do I? Give me a second. How do I? So it goes into the nozzle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's ready. It actually beeps, but I missed that <laughs> that part to let you know it's at temperature, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Turn it in the buster. <laughs> Can't tell it's buster yet, huh? <laughs> I'm worried it might be too warm. 
Hold it lifts up a little. You might have to just turn it around. Go that well, way. That's okay. I don't Sorry, my hand. Oh, that's okay. Oh, I can see it, but I don't know if you can really see it on video. But that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it took under three hours, right? Mm -hmm. This is a tiny one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want to see 3D printer buster? What do you think? <laughs> so we moved it to um, a back bedroom where it wouldn't be around the birds making a dragon and realized um, one, you want to put down the glue that they provide so it doesn't stick. And also um, there was a little yellow piece still attached back here that we were supposed to take off and didn't. And that's why it was being really noisy. So it is very, very quiet. Wanted to do final thoughts on the <clears throat> antenna printer the Tina 2s v10 um, <clears throat> we're new to 3d printing so we do feel like this is a great one to start with also you know if you wanted to take this with you if you're going on vacation or something and make things um, this would easily travel um, so the one filament as you can see that's down to just this made all of these things you see here so that to me was pretty good. This one um, was two different uh, patterns. So the you know, so we messed up on the first two, which was be this these two. So we made a few little mistakes. Um, we hadn't taken out. There was a little piece of yellow, um, a clip that went over it, and that, so it was being really noisy. So as soon as we removed that, that worked. We didn't initially put the glue, um, the glue down, so the first buster that we made, the legs came off. So, and then the frog, the legs broke off on the top, but we just glued it back together. <clears throat> so then, this one was made, and that's that's the correct one. And in this pattern, they say you can put a little light in there, um, but my daughter is going to paint them as well. So. We, you know, there were some really neat things. Um, it was fairly easy to use. Um, the patterns, there's lots of free ones. There's some you can buy. Um, so I think it retails at around $199. Um, so it's, it's super affordable for a 3D printer. Um, just make sure your patterns, I don't know if they're really called a pattern, but um, when you download something to put on the SD card or Bluetooth or whatever, um, make sure it will fit and that it's not too big so but highly recommend if you're wanting to get into 3d printing and you want to go easy try it out or for like a, um, a preteen to teen um, and adults but this is a great one 
to use. So I'll have the Amazon link down below.